Hey, hey, hello, welcome to my channel, Triple Two Tarot. I'm gonna do your collective reading for all of you to see basically what's happening in the collective energies. It's going to be a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. You can book a personal reading. Everything is given in description. You can reach out to me if you want to. Let's go, let's see it. what's happening for my collective viewers watching this video. So it's gonna be general reading. Please take what resonates. You can even follow me on Instagram. You can even book a personal reading. Everything is given in description. Let's go for my collective, what's happening? strength six of pentacles you could be going through some type of a financial difficulty or stuff okay if some of you you could be even waiting for some type of a financial opportunities you could be waiting for benefits you could be waiting for some type of opportunities coming your way maybe more money page of pentacles okay you you don't see this this offer coming could be even financial offer coming your way Someone wants to work with you. You could be even going to sign a contract or deal. Could be even six months. I'm feeling six months or eight months uh, internship or contract or deal within six months or eight months. Yeah, you could be even a business woman or man watching this video with the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you, it could be you're investing in something. You could be even an entrepreneur already or self-made person. You're really focused on your money and finances. I can see that all about is like you're investing in yourself, investing in your money, finances, career, in your growth, in your personal growth. Some of you, you could be even changing your lifestyle, your appearance. You could be even purchasing something on something on installment, like something like that. The world card, yeah, okay. So I think finally, uh, some of you, you could be even going to complete some type of a, you know, internship or work, okay? You may be even waiting for a new opportunity, a new job or better placement, better money, you know, better uh, financial offer, better job. You want something more, maybe. And you could be looking for that. And good news is, like, you're going to be selected or opportunity is coming. Some of you, you could be even doing online business or you are about to start online business. That's going to give you benefit. You could be even traveling. Some of you, you could be saving money for traveling somewhere or shifting. Some of you, it's a travel. You could be saving money for traveling or shifting somewhere. That's interesting. Judgment. Yeah, some of you are definitely going through some type of a difficult time or phase. It could be even a spiritual awakening right now happening in your life. You could be going through some type of spiritual growth, learning about yourself. I'm not feeling you're talking to anybody or you're dating anybody. Some of you, you could be even um, meeting people. Let's say you're meeting people, um, but you're not feeling the spark. You're looking for one, the one and only person. Hmm. You could be even critical, self-critical right now, judging your uh, previous action or things. You could be even judging yourself. Don't do that. If something is over, if something is finished, if something that you used to do in the past, just be kind to yourself with a strength card. Be kind, be strong. Because maybe you have no idea about that in the past, but now you're very mature with the Queen of Pentacles, with the timing. We definitely mature up, level up um, with the passing of the time. Now. There could be someone who is going to reach out to you. This person could be younger than you. You both could have an earth placement, especially Capricorn, uh, Virgo, Taurus. We also have a Sagittarius here, Scorpio energy, Libra, Leo. Yeah, you could be different from each other. Like totally, uh, I'm feeling age gap. There's an age gap um, between you and this person. This person definitely wanting to reach out. It's look like they're, repress they're pressing their emotions and feelings. And the more they're doing it, the more they're feeling this call, the urge to talk to you, to send you a message. And they're going to do it. Some of you, they're going to do it. You both could be controlling it. You're like, no, you come first. And they're like, no, you come first. This person could be even confused if they're going to reach out to you, how you will respond. Whoever this is. Either this person wants to work with you, okay? They could be a beginner, a starter in a work, in a business like you. And they want to reach out to you, but they're afraid that you're going to judge them or you're not going to help them. Or maybe some of you, this person maybe needs your financial help or advice. Or maybe they want your financial help. Literally, this person could be reaching out to you for financial help, like they want money from you. Because they think you're successful or you could be very generous or you, you can donate to them or something. I don't know. Now, some of you, this is also someone who could be is coming to you because... You're not opening up to this person. They just want you to open up to them more. Talk to them more. Tell them what you feel. What do you think about them? 
This could be an apology coming from someone that you completed the cycle with. They want to be generous with you. They want to talk to you. They want to spend the time with you. They want to communicate. They want to explain things. This could be when someone who want to meet you. I'm feeling online meeting, so it's, it's going to be online meeting. So I don't know if it's happening uh, work-related, like you're going to have an online uh, meeting with this person, online call, video call, a conference, like people will be there. It's work-related. They want to tell you something uh, about their budget, about their work, about their product. Maybe they just want you to be ambassador of something. I just want to work with you. They just want to maybe collaborate with you or something. But they're going to offer you something little because they think you already have, you're too much. You already experience. So they may be expecting that you're going to be generous with them. You're going to help them. Are you going to help them to support their business maybe? Now some of you, this is definitely work-related. And others of you, this could be someone who is definitely romantically interested in you. But it looks like one of you could be more financially stable than other person. Yeah, that could be the difference. Could be the difference of status or could be the difference of age, age gap or something. Yeah, oh my God. This is definitely someone you walked away. You walked away or this is someone that you're not looking back. You turn your back on this person. You maybe judge this person without knowing the truth. Are you maybe already making the judgment like they're not into you, they're not serious? This person could be even reminding you of someone from your past and you're like, oh please, I don't want to invest in it. So you could be controlling your feelings and desires and emotions for this person even though you have feelings, you like this person, but you want to see where it can go. The sun god, yeah, Leo energy. Could be Capricorn, definitely. But Leo, the sun. Yeah, some of you, it's like you could be a free-spirited person. You're just investing in yourself. And this person is definitely watching you from afar, shining. Some of you, you could be very famous and popular person on social media. Or you may be successful on online, internet. You have a very, like, let's say, bright present, very strong present, very successful present on social media, on internet, or at your workplace. It could be even, uh, it's a good thing. A lot of you, you're getting um, promoted, maybe a success. You will be happy, definitely. You could be traveling. I'm strongly feeling in, in summer. You're traveling. You're saving money. You will travel. You will free. You will even travel a lot. You could be even going to travel the world. That could be your calling, soul calling. Your soul is calling you to do that. <laughs> yeah, so could be. This is your soul calling. Yeah, here you go, temperance, sun and moon. So your sun and moon could be conjunct with this person, whoever this is. This is someone who definitely sees you as their soulmate. I can tell you 100% sure. Oh my goodness. This is that person. King of Swords, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So that's what this person is all about in their head. To approach you. They could be even detached person, but very free-spirited, intelligent, smart. Could be very patient. Also... They could be even uh, someone who could be a teacher, guru, mentor, professor. They could be even from army, military, police. Some type of a government job, official, could be even a lawyer, government, government job or something. This person is very tough. They come off like very cold and detached. Are they acting cool, cold and detached? But they have eyes on you. This person literally waiting for your message, waiting for your call, or they want to talk to you. Even though if it's a work, uh, I think uh, a work-related thing, this person could be totally different from you, different background than you. You're also going to have, I, to, I was talking about, you know, I said 916, yeah, you're definitely seeing this angel number. So this is divinely guided, whatever it is. This is someone that you're going to talk to them when there is a day and night difference also. So either it will be night from your side and this person will be talking to you in the sun, like in a daylight. So something about that. There's a day and night difference. I'm also saying black and white could be. There's something about you totally are opposite, exactly opposite. Coming from the different world, coming from the different status, coming from the different mindset, coming from the different language could be. So that's why this person is worried how to talk to you. How to communicate, you know? Let's see. 
This person could even have a big ego and pride. You can see that. If this is a masculine person. Yeah, okay, Harman. So I think a lot of you with the nine, you're definitely focusing on yourself and this person has their eyes on you. They maybe think you're not interested or you maybe don't, you're not seeing them or you will never come back. This, this person could be ghosted you or they think you ghosted them. Yeah, four of swords. There's no contact at all between you and this person. Never. There's no contact. Or maybe you walked away. Look, you walked away. You cut the cards with this person. You're like, please, freeze. You, you just free yourself from this person and situation. But they're not free. No, they're not. They're watching you. Yes, so this person is coming. I'm also feeling this person is finally getting very deep into that. Like what type of uh, things that they made. Like th this person could even have big ego and pride and now they're realizing where they went wrong because this is someone who's very calculating. They're calculating their action, their ways. They may be even trying to, yeah, they're trying to figure things out. Basically, why you're behaving this way, why you're acting this way, or why they acted in this way. Maybe they need to explain something to you. This person is a deep thinker. They also could be very, like, indecisive person. They go deep into it. Like, this is someone who could be have a uh, do procrastination or could be even self-sabotager. Like, they overthink a lot. This person is a deep thinker. Interesting. We have a King of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles and Page of Swords. Some of you, this person is also watching you. There's a two things there. This could be someone who already have a family, okay? And this person already have a family and they're watching you because they know that you're not going to accept them. This, this is another person, energy. You have a two people. This could be same gender. It does not have to be, but I think two people. Now look, look at this. King and Queen of Pentacles. This is the one. Maybe you have a, already family with this person. This could be your ex or someone that you have a family and kids with and you free yourself from this person. You could be already divorced up. Okay? Like you're like free. You're not living together. You're separated. You're far away. They can't reach out to you. This could be that person. And others of you, this is someone who definitely sees you as their, their equal, their partner. They think that you are the one. But they maybe think you're not interested in them. They could be even going through some type of a... Because you're working on yourself. You're, you're investing in yourself. You're, you're just busy with yourself. You don't have a time to deal with this person the ex or past person and you even don't have a deal with this person new person or someone that you're just meeting or getting to know or let's say they're too much focused on their family or money or other things and you're like you're not bothered whoever this is it's like you're just too focused on your own world you're living in your world and these people are literally obsessed and watching you and want to be with you yeah look at this eight of pentacles and two of pentacles you're just busy in your own world working and glowing shining some of you you could be thinking about to plan you know like to move somewhere or to do the you know trips or you're saving money you're just working on yourself but there are these people who are watching you i think this art sign is definitely going to reach out to you they think that you're the equal you're the the other half yeah there's a gift coming maybe some of you you're going to receive a gift some of you it's a business gathering like I told you, business setup, business meeting, you're going to get money. You will get paid or you will going to get, receive a gift from this person or they want to give you a gift. Yeah, you're definitely going to receive a message. Wow, the lovers. Yeah. This person is concerned. Maybe you're coming from a different, I told you, background or things. 33, it's a very sp spiritual number and we also have a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, this is a wealthy man, I told you. Coming from a wealthy status, background, culture. But they could have some type of a self-esteem issues. They think you're not interested. They're going to send you a message when they're going to be um, desperate or I would say going to feel lonely. You maybe even have a choice between two people because one is definitely a false person. This person could even have a false ego. Whoever this king of swords is like detached or someone that was emotionally not available. So choose wisely who is your person. You may be seeing them, you're judging them in a wrong way. Some of you, you definitely judge them wrong way or you're judging them in a wrong way. This person even concerned, like, why? Look at this, how this person is worried. Like, what they should do that you're going to change their, your mind about them? They think you're already fixated, like they're a wrong person. They're not. They're not a bad person. They're not a wrong person. You definitely have a privilege because I think there's a more than one, two or two people interested in you. You definitely have some type of a privilege.
Yeah, I think you you you're not seeing this person in that way. Are you not focused on them? Yeah, how is this person even gonna invite you somewhere? You could be even changing a house or shifting a house. Are you? This person is gonna even tell you like move in together with them. Wow, it's gonna be a big move. Yeah, the big changes are coming. You even gonna travel to see them or meet them or you will visit their house. They're gonna invite you somewhere. Yeah, it's a journey. You're definitely gonna travel to see them. Or when you are traveling, if you are traveling very soon, especially in the summer, you're gonna meet this person there, this new person. But there is some longing energy from the past or someone that was lingering in your energy. Even though you don't like it, you're just free, you don't wanna be there, they are just still in your energy, watching you, obsessing over you, waiting for you, they even gonna try. It's gonna be up to you, but I think you're definitely, you also have an earth sign, another earth sign in your energy, present. Someone who's going to be a perfect match, equal match, whoever this is. Uh, because you're gonna know instantly like this is your person. But you would even, uh, maybe this person is concerned because there could be a long distance or there's something about status difference. Or this person gonna think like you're not interested. There's something, some misunderstanding here that you both need to clear. But I think you know who, this, who is the person. You definitely know that. If you have an option between two people, you're gonna know. Others of you, this is the same person, they have an earth and air placements. They could be really focused on their money, responsibilities, they're acting cool and detached, but they're literally, literally into you. They're in love with you. They like you, but they're concerned about a lot of things. Maybe they wanna discuss with you, they're gonna invite you in the house, or they wanna meet you. You wanna travel to see them, or they will travel to see you. Yeah, that could be your reading. I'm gonna see you later, bye.